this lesson, we're going to add a button. So just click on that add on. And they've done so much with the buttons. They've added some more um, features or functionalities that you can use. And I love the new stuff that they've, you know, what they've done with it. So you click on the button. You can put in the button text here. I'm just going to type something in. Click here now. So let's start first with the with the button font. You can choose the options here. Make this bold, and you can choose the spacing. That's the spacing inside of the button you see. And also, let's say you have something that you want people to download. You can click and attach that file here. So let's. I'm just gonna grab this image. Uh, let's say I have something that I want people to uh, to be able to download. You have an attachment section here, so I'm gonna select something this music and this is really great when uh, let's say you you're having like a special or you have like a landing page where you want people to be able to download something once they come to you know the thank you page or so then this is where you can connect your downloads downloads after you've they've gone through um, you know your, your other your funnel or if you just want them to just download something uh, instantly then you can attach that hair so I've attached this uh, this mp3 file you can pretty much attach anything here and then you go over here if you want to open up in a new window or the same window so I'm gonna keep this one as the same window and I'm gonna scroll down and then you can choose the button type here let's just choose primary you can choose the flat and we're going to take a look at each of them. So the flat one is the standard way that it looks. So the button size, let's make this one extra large. And for the button shape, you want this to be round, square. Let's look just at the rounder for now. Uh, do you want it to fill the full width? Let's click on yes. Let's put an icon on this where um, put some Android. Uh, we can leave this one on uh, the left side of it. So let's click on apply. And we're going to take a look at this on the front end. Uh, we're going to work on this for a little while so you can get to see what it looks like. So let's say you want people to download this. The full width, what, what it does, it took the entire width of this section here. So when people want to, you know, they can click on it to download it. And that's, you know, that's the file that they're going to download. So let's edit this here and uh, make some more changes to this. Where it says the button uh, style, you can change the color from primary to success where it says the button appearance let's change this one to an outline and let's say we want this to be large and we don't want this to be the full width let's set this full width to no and for the button shape let's change this to square and for the icon is going to pick something else here to download and for the button icon position let's put this over to the right and let's click on apply so now you notice when you put your mouse over this, it has a different look to it. You put your mouse and let's change this again. So let's scroll down here where it says the button style. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom here. Um, it says custom. Let's click on the custom. You can change this custom to to give it a certain look. Sometimes when I'm designing sites and I'm working on projects, I want, you know, certain buttons to have a certain look to them. So the custom functionality here is really, really a uh, feature is really great because now I can choose what, how I want this button to be. So if I want the background color uh, to be something different uh, from one of these here, if you notice each primary success and for warning danger have a certain look to them. So if I wanted to go with something that I don't think is there, then I can choose something like this for the background color uh, for the button color. I can leave that white um, for the hover over color. I'm going to choose that one. So when someone hovers over the button, there's a color that they're going to get. And for the then the button ho hover. So let's leave that and let's change the shape to round. So now the shape is round and let's change where it says the outline to 3D. So you see what the 3D looks like. Click on apply. So now if you notice, if you notice right over at the edge, the button has like a 3D type of effect on it. So people can be able to click there um, and to download it, whatever it is that you want them to download. So it gives you a lot of control, gives you a lot more 
and uh, you can pretty much style the buttons to fit any type of website. 